I'm an oncologist by training and uh, I've co-founded the, the company called Hawking a year ago with Dean Weinrib, who is an assistant professor in uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, the company we created is called Hawking. It's an anagram of I know. Uh, we find it funny because what we do is just building conflictive knowledge uh, for physicians and researchers in bringing them the power, I can even say the superpower of artificial intelligence. We've recruited 12 people and um, mostly in Paris. Paris is the center of our research and development. New York is also great because uh, in, uh, in the oncology world there's a lot of very famous centers such as Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, there's a lot of things that uh, it's very time consuming for a physician. For example, understanding the story of a patient can take a while, you know, reading the papers and uh, everything can take a lot of time. Uh, so you can accelerate a lot of process with a very good accuracy because when you want to do things, you need to be very accurate in medicine. You cannot have, there is no place for error. And then you want, really want to, 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 to bring precision medicine to doctors and researchers, which means uh, find the right treatments for every patient because every patient is different. And for that, we try to, 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 to to transform from one image or one that part of the text of, uh, of uh, electronic health records, we try to extract from this uh, input uh, an information which can be uh, if a patient is going to be resistant to treatment, very toxic to treatment, he should avoid this one. Uh, if it's similar to treatment in another part of the world or from another patient in the same center, and we just build this huge knowledge to doctors and researchers that may help them to take the right decision. Uh, what we want to build at the end is a huge collective intelligence. And really, like, when you can bring something that you can do a superpower, right? Uh, and uh, it's just being able to, 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 to predict some stuff for the patients, it's, it's so much fun and so much more it's so strong for people. So I think like everyone's dreams of doing stuff that they're not able to do themselves. This is why superhero movies, everyone loves superhero movies. And we really want to make of researchers and, uh, and uh, doctors new superheroes.